the Washington Capitals, 1913-6, are set to face off against the New York Rangers, 26-11-2, at Capital One Arena. In their previous game, the Rangers suffered a 6-3 defeat against the Canucks, managing to score only three goals out of 42 shots. They also faced two power play opportunities, converting one goal. The Rangers have displayed both offensive and defensive prowess throughout the season, scoring 131 goals while conceding 110. The Rangers, with Igor Shesterkin guarding the goal, boast a solid record. Shesterkin has a save percentage of .921 and has recorded 117 quality starts in his career. Opponents have scored 432 goals against him, with a goals against average of 2.44. The Rangers have a power play rate of 30.00%, having scored 36 goals in 120 opportunities. The Capitals, coming off a 4-3 victory against the Kings, showcase their offensive capabilities with 4 goals on 34 shots. They have scored 76 goals at even strength and 15 on the power play. Washington has attempted 1,054 shots with a shooting percentage of 8.63%. Darcy Kemper, the expected goalie for the Rangers, has a career record of 175-130-45. With a save percentage of .915. Kemper has made 9,858 saves out of 10,776 shots faced. The Rangers are predicted to secure a 4-2 victory against the Capitals. The game is likely to feature a competitive battle between two skilled teams striving for success on the ice. The Florida Panthers, 26-12-2, are set to face the New Jersey Devils, 21-15-2, at FLA Live Arena. The Devils are coming off a 6-4 loss to the Canucks, where they managed to score on 4 of their 25 shots. New Jersey has faced 122 power play opportunities, allowing 28 goals, and has a save percentage of .879. In net for the Devils is Vitek Vanesic, with a career record of 88-40-15. Vanesic has a save percentage of .905 and has made 3,721 saves in his 155-game NHL career. Florida's offense, with 1,355 shots and a shooting percentage of 9.45%, will pose a challenge for Vanesic. The Panthers are coming off a dominant 5-1 win against the Blues, where they had three power play chances and scored on one. Florida has attempted 1,355 shots with a shooting percentage of 9.45%. Sergei Bobrovsky is expected to be in goal, with a save percentage of .915 and a career record of 380-216-52. Considering the offensive strength of the Panthers and their recent performance, they are predicted to win 6-3 against the Devils. The Pittsburgh Penguins, 2015-4, are set to face the Carolina Hurricanes, 22-13-5, at PNC Arena. The Penguins are coming off a convincing 4-1 victory over the Flyers in their previous game, converting 4 of 39 shots and scoring one power play goal. Pittsburgh has faced 120 power play opportunities, allowing 21 goals, and has a save percentage of .912. In net for the Penguins is Tristan Jerry, with a career record of 128-72-22. Jerry has a save percentage of .913 and has made 6,100 saves in his 224-game NHL career. The Hurricanes, with 1,329 shots attempted and a shooting percentage of 10.23%, present a formidable offensive challenge for Jerry. Carolina is coming off a 1-1 -to -one tie against the Blues, where they had one power play opportunity and scored one goal out of 30 shots. The Hurricanes have attempted 1,329 shots with a shooting percentage of 10.23%. Pyotr Kachetkov is expected to be in goal, with a save percentage of .906 and a career record of 26-14-8. Given the offensive capabilities of both teams, the Hurricanes are predicted to win 5-3 against the Penguins at PNC Arena. The Boston Bruins, 24-8-8, are set to face the St. Louis Blues, 2018-1, at Enterprise Center. The Bruins are coming off a 4-3 defeat against the Coyotes, where they scored on 3 of 33 shots and netted 2 goals on 4 power play attempts. Boston has faced 151 power play opportunities, allowing 22 goals, and has a save percentage of .916. In net for the Bruins is Jeremy Swayman, with a career record of 65-26-13 and a save percentage of .9. The Blues, after a 5-1 loss to the Panthers, have accumulated 108 goals, 41 points, and have a points percentage of .526. St. Louis has taken 1,182 shots with a shooting percentage of 9.14%, while allowing their opponents 1,236 shots. Jordan Binnington is expected to be in goal for the Blues, with a lifetime record of 138-4-27 and a save percentage of .906. The Bruins, with 1,215 shots attempted and a shooting percentage of 11.0%, present a strong offensive challenge for Binnington. Given the recent performances and offensive capabilities of both teams, the Boston Bruins are predicted to win 4-3 against the St. Louis Blues at Enterprise Center. However, hockey outcomes can be unpredictable, and both teams will aim to secure the victory in this matchup.
The Calgary Flames, 18-18-5, are heading to T-Mobile Arena to face the Vegas Golden Knights, 23-13-5. In their previous outing, the Flames secured a 6-3 victory against the Senators, showcasing an impressive offensive performance. Calgary, with a total of 127 goals on the season, will look to build on their recent success. The Flames have a points percentage of .500 and have tallied 41 points in the current campaign. On the power play, Calgary has registered 16 goals out of 129 chances, with a conversion rate of 12.40%. At even strength, they have scored 111 goals while conceding 109. Jacob Markstrom will be guarding the net for the Flames, boasting a save percentage of .909. Vegas is coming off a 3-0 loss to the Avalanche, where they had four power play opportunities but failed to capitalize. The Golden Knights, with 129 goals on the season, have a points percentage of .622. They have scored 98 goals at even strength and 31 on the power play, with a power play rate of 21.23%. Vegas has a shooting percentage of 9.83% and a penalty kill rate of 79.51%. Logan Thompson is expected to be in goal for the Golden Knights, with a lifetime record of 43-26-9 and a save percentage of .911. Considering the recent performances of both teams, the Vegas Golden Knights are predicted to win 6-3 against the Calgary Flames at T-Mobile Arena.